might impart some spiritual gifts to you. And I do believe there's people here that do have spiritual gifts to give tonight. Yes. And I know it's needed in the body. Yeah. And so I just feel like I'm going to just sing a few uh, a few courses here tonight and just uh, just kind of wait upon the Lord for a little bit. Can we do that? Amen. And, yes. and if you feel led to do something, well, you just obey the Lord and, and it'll be fine. Amen. Oh, the windows of heaven are open.
Forsaken were the ninety and ninety-four. Saved all the night was stormy and cold. And then said the shepherd, "Why can't he live more? One sheep is missing." There should be one more. The shepherd went out to search for the sheep. And all through the night, on a rocky steep, oh, he sought till he found him. When the man he found him. one time, something going on in the graveyard. <laughs> Hallelujah, I feel the Lord moving in this place. I hate to get in His way. You know, sometimes we can get in His way. Amen. And if God spoke to you and told you to do something, and you didn't do it, you should obey the Lord. He knows what He's doing, and He puts it on people's hearts, you know. Amen. He works through His body. The Lord uses His body. We're His hands, His feet, His eyes, and He works through the body. Hallelujah. Amen. So, if you feel an unction of God, don't hold back. Let God have His way. Amen. The devil won't tell you to do good things. Did you know that? No, he's a liar. He'll never tell you to do a good thing. If somebody tells you to do a good thing, it's God telling you that. Praise the Lord. God is so good. Do you love Him tonight? I do praise Him. I love Him for the joy that's in my heart tonight. I, I just, uh, man, I'm feeling good tonight. My soul. It's just good to know the Lord. It's good to serve God. It's good to have peace in your life, isn't it? Yes, it is. In the world, he said, you have tribulation. But in me, he said, you have peace. 
And I'm glad for that peace tonight. Amen. I feel that peace in my heart. Praise the Lord. He is so good. I could go on and on here tonight, but I'm not going to, to weary you if, you, if, it's, if it's already been done. We want to, we just want to. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If thou hearest my voice, harden not thy heart. For it is I that speaketh unto thee, and I know thee, and I know the way that thou takest. And I know thy struggles, and I know what thou art going through. I speak unto thee, I speak peace to thee tonight by the Spirit. I speak unto thee joy. I speak unto thee all good things. I know how to give good gifts to my children. Behold, I am in the midst of thee, and I know the way that thou takest. And I know thy struggles, and I know thy doubts, and thy fears. O oh, behold, it is I, it is I that speaketh unto thee. Even in the night, in the wee hours of the night, it is I that speaketh to thee. If thou hearest my voice, it is I. Be not afraid, trust and believe, and trust in me. For I am with thee, and I will be with thee, lo, until the end of the world. Be not afraid, it is I. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, as I was getting that interpretation, the Lord spoke to me. He really wanted somebody else to give that... that I felt that too. Did you feel the interpretation? Somebody else had it. But, uh, but uh, some way, uh, I, I, I felt they, they wouldn't give it or they were afraid to give it or for one reason or another. God's got people He's wanting to use in these things. Amen. And you know, when the pastor does this all the time, it's suspect, it, you know, it's kind of suspect. He wants to use the body. Yes, he does. Amen. Amen. And, and most times when I hear that, when I hear that interpretation go forth, uh, God will verify it with me. I, I feel in my spirit, mm -hmm, that's, that's right. It may not be the exact words, but it's right. See, because we're interpreting, we're not translating down. Right. See, translating not word for word. Interpreting is, in, is interpreting what right. the spirit is saying. Amen. It's like you interpret a uh, uh, foreign language like Spanish. Sometimes their language says the house I went into. Well, you don't say the house I went into. You say I went into the house. <laughs> right. And that's where interpretation is. When you interpret, you're just interpreting what the mind of the Spirit is saying. And But I really felt somebody else was supposed to give this to her. And I feel this sometimes. And I don't want it to drag on and on because I'm afraid to cause confusion. If, if Sometimes I just go ahead and do it. But I want you to know God's got some other people here. He's wanting to do these things. <laughs> so, there's nine gifts in the Spirit. And uh, they're just just reach out and claim that it's yours if you want it. There's five-fold ministry and nine gifts in the Spirit. And, and you can have them all. As many as you want or whatever you want. And God wants to use you. Hallelujah. 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 It's easy for God. It's a big thing. It's, it's no hard thing at all for God. God knows. See, see there's, uh, there's uh, other tongues. That's German and Spanish and, and uh, these other tongues. Then there's unknown tongue. See, that's spiritual. That's God's, that's God's language. <laughs> With stammering lips in another tongue while I speak to this people. And, and, and this is the rest. Wherewith I will cause the worry to rest. See. And Jesus said, come unto me and I will give you rest. That's why you need to speak in them their tongues. Somebody said, you believe i got to speak in them their tongues? It'll do you good. It won't hurt you. <laughs> It'll give you rest. It'll give you a spiritual. Then it gives you spiritual rest. He's just waiting for us to believe in him that Hallelujah. he can do all things. And just trust him. Exceedingly, yeah. abundantly, he will bless you. Don Williams sings a song sometimes that said, Lord, I hope this day is good. You hear that song? Oh, yeah. And he said, now this would be hard for the devil to do, but Lord, this would be easy for you. I love that song. Every time I hear it, I think, yes, sir, it'd be hard for the devil to do, but Lord, it'd be easy for you. No big deal with God. 
He knows how to bless, don't yes, he? Yes, he does. Yes. He knows how to. And he said, if you open your mouth, I will fill it. I will fill it. I will fill it. Yes. Don't be afraid. Just stand up and obey his voice. And you know what? If it's if it's not exactly right, you make it right. Did you know that? Yes. Don't be afraid to fail in God. Don't be. Well, I said, well, that, that, that might just be me. Well, I can guarantee you to be you. I don't know who else would be. You can't hang your body on a nail. No, God uses this body, uses these tongues, He uses these lips. Don't be afraid. And the devil will always tell you that wasn't God. He's a liar. He's a liar. He's never told the truth in his life. Right. He's never told a sinner that he's lost. That's right. He says, you're all right. You don't have to do all that. And then just as soon as you get saved, you'll say, you didn't get saved. You didn't get saved. You didn't get nothing. <laughs> so just, just ignore him. He don't know nothing. He's got a big mouth. Jackie Gleason used to say, I got a big mouth. And, uh, he's got a big mouth. And that his teeth has been pulled, he has no power Amen. over the children of God. Amen. Resist him. Draw nigh unto me, he said, and resist him. The name of Jesus. And his power is broken. Now that's not really all that big of an enemy. We make him way bigger than he is, folks. Right. Just submit unto God. Hallelujah. Resist the devil. And he'll flee from you. Now what kind of a what kind of an enemy is that? He ain't much of an enemy, is <laughs> my daughter told me she got up work about three o'clock in the morning. She was she worked in a nursing home, and she stopped at a <laughs> she stopped at a ATV and uh, we go to yeah old man tell her yeah to the ATM ATM yeah, yeah. <laughs> I knew what I was trying to say but I knew it didn't sound right you know Jennifer but, <laughs> but anyway an ATM and it's three o'clock in the morning and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she, said, she turned around. This guy was standing there naked, Jaybird didn't have a stitch on. Oh, wow. She turned around and said, "I rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ." She starts speaking in tongues, and he run. <laughs> she said he took off running, and just starts speaking. <laughs> Call him the street. <laughs> hey, he can't stand against God. He's got to flee. Isn't that right? Amen. Well, I've, I've wasted enough time. Really. <laughs>